Hey guys, this is Sam TG Noob here, and I'm playing with the red deck. Um, I will not mulligan, and I'm on the play. I think the noble on one is possibly correct, since it has the capabilities of growth. Okay, and now I'm much happier that we played the noble there on one, since we're playing against humans. And when you have nobles, the humans matchup is a lot better. You know what else is good? When you have two nobles. Okay, so we're just doing work next turn, so to speak. He might have another champion, but he's just very behind at the moment. Okay, um, hmm. he might just block. I think I'd rather just swing with team, see if he wants to block, and then hold up Brimstone Volley. So, he takes a bunch. These grow. I'm actually going to play this out second main, um, even though it has haste because I want to uh, be able to optimize my threats and play my brimstone volley. Now he might think I'm an idiot, which is fair, uh, because this guy has haste and I missed two points. But he wasn't blocking there anyway. So these two crashing in are, are just going to be a lot. Seems like he kept a very slow human hand stuff might be dying here we're being tapped down okay so we'll bash in take four he goes to ten we'll play an ash zealot he must think I'm crazy. He must think I have no idea what I'm doing. That's fine. These guys go bye-bye. But now, long story short, he's pretty much dead. I guess he trades here. Now what I think he's trying to do is set up a humans uh, gather the town folk, which if that's the case he's got to take. I'll go to one here. These guys will trade. And he's got Feeling of Dread to tap down both of my blockers. And assuming he doesn't play anything crazy, I should be okay. Like if he has some sort of life gain. Fiend Hunter removing that seems fine. Okay, Knight of Glory. And I'll just burn him out. He's at one. One is just not a safe, safe spot for him to be. Okay, luckily for us there, we ended up drawing really well. All right, so what comes in against him? Um, this comes in, although it is very slow. I also think having black creatures against... Um, that deck is, is not amazing since they have the Knight of Glories. Um, so I'm going to actually sub these out. And I'm going to sub out these Shred Freaks. And we're going to make our deck a little bit slower. Uh, I kind of hate the Wolves still in this matchup as I don't feel that they're very good. They do chump block um, 
and come back, so that's something for their credit, but we'll we'll see what happens. Okay, I could live with this hand. Uh it's it's definitely not amazing. But Waif on one is good. War Falcon, eh? War Falcon trades. Okay. Alright, so we're going to be taking some damage. I think we're going to just Searing Spear this guy, get him out of the way, and get in for one ourselves. Force him to play an, a threat so that he can may, maybe make a steal with that. Okay, so it's his blue source on three. And Knight of Glory is a very good threat. I really hope I could rip Flames of the Firebrand here. That would be fantastic. Flames off the top. Alright, Pillar is good too. I think I'll Pillar that. Um... Okay, we'll set up the Gorehouse Chainwalker here. And I think we hold back there. Maybe I should have tested the water with the um, attack because I could have forced him to go into a blocking situation and gotten more information from his hand. Um, but seems okay. So we can trade these guys out. But I think we actually just play a wolf. Or attempt to play a wolf, I should say. And just pass. This way we can be patient. And he's got to make answers happen from his, his side. He seems a little bit flooded. Okay, when he's using Detention Sphere on my wolf, I'm okay with this. Okay, we're going to try to set up a Hell Rider here. So we'll swing with our Ash Zealot as he doesn't have very good attack blocks left. And we'll play out a Noble, and then we'll pass. And this does flip back, which um, in hindsight isn't terrible, um, as it will flip back. And now we just attempt to play out a Hell Rider and just try to kill him, I guess. Like, he's going to get a good block in, but we're going to shoot for five. And as long as he's not playing like a main deck sweeper all of a sudden, we should definitely be good. So he gets his good block in there. He goes to five, we put a counter on it, and he has to top deck here. And I don't know what he could have, maybe he has a... Okay, he can't actually detain anything. So I think I'm okay with this. Okay, if we do it this way, we should, should just kill him. Okay, he has negate. But now we still should just kill him. As that puts him to one, and that's all she wrote. So he blocks, and that's the game. 
Alright, so thanks for watching. Please check out the mtgnoob.com, and I hope you enjoyed it.